Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. Keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Aquarius? One more card, please. Finger. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. So you have an upcoming problem. January is significant. Maybe you guys are boring in January. Maybe this is for, this is for the January Aquarius. I don't know. But January is very significant for you. Fire. Strong emotion. Passionate love or hate. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. So you got some opportunities that are waiting for you. I feel like something could come to fruition in January. Um, you know, just look at that. That's somebody's face and they're in it. It's like they're cold as ice. They're frozen. So it may have something to do, do with being frozen. Um, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, January is prominent. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Warning you of a problem, either now or in the future. So that's somebody pointing at you. Now, this is kind of pointing to January. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. You may you may have a problem that comes to... Uh, has a big impact for you in January. Um, but there is a new opportunity that is waiting for you. Because whenever you get a door, there's an opportunity to walk through a new door. You have to choose to open it, though. You have to choose to go through it. So you're going to be given an opportunity this week to go through a new door. Um, it's definitely going to be emotional because this is strong emotion. It's either, you know, love or hate. So let's just see what we got. What do we have for Aquarius for the week of the 17th through the 23rd? not going to take those because it was a big stack big mess maybe you're dealing with a big mess I mean, it was too much it was and maybe every you got to remember that every word that comes out of my mouth is part of the reading not going to take that it's too much not going to take it you may be saying those words this is too much for me that kind of thing not taking this shit Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign. It's interesting because we have fire here and we have fire here. Could have somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart. Whoever this person is, they are very feisty. They are very forceful. They are determined. They are determined to win, determined to be successful. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could also be your energy where you are determined. You are very, very determined. You are... Uh, taking action in some way this the queen of wands is given to take action she can be impulsive okay she takes action she she is impulsive she doesn't she's fearless so this person is is fearless um, very powerful and likes to likes to be in control so you may be dealing with somebody who likes to be in control but this is strong determination Ooh, page of cups High Priestess reversed. Strength reversed. Uh, some of you may be dealing with Leo. Because this is Leo. This is Leo. But this is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be anybody. The High Priestess reversed is a person that uh, is overly reliant on psychics, tarot readers, stuff like that. Or, if that's not the case, this person doesn't follow their intuition. Uh, doesn't listen to anyone's advice isn't very observant, uh, not very spiritual, not very awakened, the high, ignoring intuition, you know, you may be ignoring your intuition, or you're getting too much advice from people, which is causing you to ignore your intuition. The high priestess in reverse is somebody that is um, 
choosing to be single. Some of you may be choosing to be single. You're, you're, you don't want to be around people or you're dealing with somebody. You could be dealing with a female. If it's not you that doesn't have a lot of friends, this person could be very promiscuous, you know, could even be somebody that sleeps around. This could be, there could be another woman here. There could, because the, the, the queen of wands can signify another woman. You know, there's another, there's a woman here. Say so there's like even a third party. There could be another woman that, um, is causing trouble in your relationship. Anyhow, um, and there is warning of a problem. So if you are dealing with a fire sign, uh, these people cannot control their mouth. Okay. It's different. They're gossips. They, when they get hurt, they say, say, this is just an example. And I don't know if it's your case. If you're dealing with a fire sign, say you're dealing with a Leo or, uh, Aries or a Sagittarius and they get rejected. Say they get rejected. This person will feel so, uh, their ego will get such a blow that they will react to it. They will react. They'll cause problems for you. Okay. So strong emotion, passionate love or hate. This is very passionate. So we have a very, this is a woman. I think we have a very passionate woman here that may act. And it feels like it's vindictively and it feels because of, it feels like it's because of a rejection. So they may, they may cause you some sort of problems in your life. Anyhow, let's change this up a little bit. Um, Page of Cups is, is is it an is an admirer perhaps it could be a secret admirer it could be somebody that is crushing on you somebody that is love struck you know and this you know I think that you definitely need to be careful because this is hidden agendas this high priestess reverse is somebody with hidden agendas they're only out for their own good um, strength reversed is uh, I feel like this is somebody gets a blow to their self-esteem they get a blow to their ego I think that you got somebody here and whether it's a lover or somebody that or friend or somebody that you work with um, this person may be born in January this may be a January person somebody born in January um, this person um, may be taking action to uh, It's almost like uh, gain control over you. It has because this is about control and this is about control. You know, so it's interesting. So the the, the strength reversed is is somebody that has low self esteem, lack of self confidence. They can't restrain themselves upright. They can. So yeah, we have an individual that cannot will not be able to restrain themselves from. Uh, shutting their mouth. I feel like this person can't shut their mouth. Um, and I think it's because like they're in love with you. They're obsessed with you in some way. So it's just, I feel like it's some sort of jealousy as well. Somebody may be jealous of you. Um, it's a woman. It is a woman. Um, she wants what she wants. Okay. Very self-righteous. Okay. Five of cups reverse in some sort of pain. Devil, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, uh, Ten of Coins, Justice, this is an injustice, it's unfair, it's lack of integrity, it's lies, imbalance, Page of Pentacles reversed, and the King of Wands. So I think we got somebody here, this is an obsession, the Four of Coins is an obsession, I think we, we have somebody here that is obsessed, they're obsessed with holding on to you, they're obsessed with being in control, um, I feel like uh, this person is... Uh, going to be causing you trouble this week. Um, they're holding you back because the page of coins reversed is the page of coins upright is a new door. It's a new enterprise, but it's like they're stopping you from going through that new door. They don't want you. They don't want you to put in any effort. Okay. There's, this is toxic. The devil reverse extremely unhealthy. This is unhealthy control. Very codependent. The devil is about codependency. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is forceful, very, very forceful. They're trying to force 
their will on you. I, that's the way I feel. I feel like this person isn't very spiritual. They may say that they are, but they're not. They may pretend that they are. They think that they are, but they don't. I mean, the high priestess in reverse is an individual that thinks they know it all, but they don't. Okay. Justice reverse is an injustice, not happy with an outcome, placing blame. Somebody may be blaming you for something. They're not happy with your decisions, you know, and they're trying to force their will on you, trying to force you to see things your way, um, uh, their way. I feel like you could also be dealing with a Libra, but I, in the middle card is Capricorn. So you're either dealing with a Capricorn or a fire sign, I believe. Could be anybody, but you have a lot of fire here. Okay, and it's definitely strong emotion. And the Five of Cups is grieving. So we have somebody that is obsessed. They are, they have a lot of, uh, you know, this is passionate love. Yeah, it is. It's like they're, they're, they're in love with something that you're giving them. You know what I mean? They're, they're obsessed. The Four of Coins is obsessed. Um, and I think they're obsessed with control. Okay, because Devil is control. Strength is control. Queen of Wands is control. King of Wands is control. So we have a control freak here that's what it looks like to me month of january is very prominent so they may be born in january um anyway the justice reverses is is prejudice it's lies it's imbalance it's lack of accountability it's dishonesty and i think it's somebody is having a hard time uh, letting go of the con need to control you and it's they really do want to control you um, I think that you need to take action. I feel like you need to uh, put up some boundaries with this person. Okay, I think that you need to say, you know what? You're crossing the line. This is too much. You know, because I feel like somebody is crossing the line. Um, anyhow, there could be some upcoming legal issues with the justice reversed. This is somebody who, you know, it's a legal loss of some sort. Or it's bad karma. Justice is bad karma. So there could be some bad karma here. The King of Wands takes action to, and you may have to take legal action against somebody. You may have to. You may have to take legal action. There could be some sort of abuse here with that devil reversed. We got somebody here that is in a, in a deep, dark place, and they want control. They do want control. They're, they're obsessed. And I, you know what? I don't think it's you. I think it is somebody that you're dealing with. There is going to be a problem now or in the near future. Okay? There is. Um, Ten of Pentacles has to do with the home. It has to do with the comfort. But it's a completion, right? Tens are completions. This is a dead end. The page of coins reverse. Something not working out. Somebody not following through. There could be some addictions. It could even be a sexual addiction. The devil reverse is a disaster. Okay, and you need to break free. And I feel like you, you may be trying to be free. You know, you're trying to do things that you want to do. But this person doesn't, they want complete control. They don't, it's like they're, they're the boss and it doesn't matter what you want. So it's causing problems for you. So it just, it, it feels like uh, you need to move on. And I think that maybe you're trying to move on. Uh, with the five of cups reversed, I think there's there's a need. This person is grieving. They're grieving over the fact that they can't control you. They can't. They can't. And I think that that's what the problem is. Um, I feel as though this week you're going to be, you know, you have you have an opportunity that is waiting for you. Okay, this is your opportunity. You have an opportunity that is waiting for you. But the only way that you can go through that door is to break free from this toxic individual that is holding you back from success. You don't you can't just give your control away to another person. You can't you can't just let them control your whole life. We all deserve to be free. We all have free will. 
I think something is going to be revealed, usually with the High Priestess reversed. There's a secret that it's going to be revealed. Um, there could be some sort of um, previous uh, convictions. You know, this person's uh, got in trouble from, for this in the past. You know, they have some previous, what do you call that? You know, if you were to look up, if you were to go to courthouse or whatever, you'd go to the courthouse and you'd find out some shit about this person. You know, that, whatever that is, you, you, they have some sort of rec records, criminal records for doing this kind of behavior in the past. It's, and if it's not in the court, this could be a repeat offender in the eyes of karma, you know. Anyhow, I feel like this whoever you're dealing with, this is they, they, they want to get their way and they want to get it in any way possible. And they're hindering you from going through a new door. You have an opportunity that is waiting for you. But you're going to have to stop. Uh, maybe you're being dishonest with yourself. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you're accepting somebody's lies. You have a master manipulator here. The devil is a master manipulator, even in the reversed, okay? This person is able to manipulate and lie, very, very skilled at what they do. Not very spiritual, very dark. Okay, this is a very dark energy. Um, the page of coins reverse is a dead end. There's blockages that are standing in the way of you achieving your goals. Okay, there's something standing in the way. It's like this is this you just can't do this anymore. You want to stay in this place forever? You probably you may be with somebody who has a wandering eye. They may be treating you unfairly and you're just you're just allowing it. That's what it feels like to me. Anyway, I feel as though this week, I mean the strength card, this is right around the corner. Uh, the strength card reversed is uh, feeling very vulnerable, feeling doubtful. You may be feeling depressed. Maybe you're feeling, you know, tired. Um, you may be in some sort of relationship that looks really good, okay, because of the Ten of Pentacles. It may look really good. This is surface, on the surface, but it's really not going anywhere. It's not, I don't feel like it's two-sided. Anyhow, I feel as though, um, you're going to be receiving some, you may be dealing with a, a woman that is very, I mean, the page of cups, she's flirting with others, thinks it's okay. You may find out about it this week. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anyhow, I feel like by the end of the week, you are going to be taking action. You're going to be doing something by the end of the week. Because the King of Wands is somebody that gets creative and makes a decision. Whatever you hear this week, so you're going to hear something that probably uh, makes you feel sick. Okay, because that could be sick. You may, makes you feel sick. It's like, oh my God, this is like a pit, the sickness in the pit of your stomach kind of thing. By the end of the week, you're going to be in the process of making some sort of decision and you're probably going to take action. Um, you're going to need to find your strength to break free. And I think it's hard because there's some sort of attraction to this person. This person may be very sexy to you. Very sexy, you know, very good looking, that kind of thing. Ooh, reluctant to move on. Six of Swords, reluctant to take a new approach. Troubled, very, very troubled. I feel as though by the end of the week, you're going to have a hard time. I think you're going to be really thinking. You're going to be in the process of making a decision, but you might not be going anywhere. By the end of the week, you're going to be processing, okay? You're going to be processing whatever it is that happened, whatever you heard. Um... I don't think you're going to be going anywhere, though. I think you're going to be staying put. Because you just don't want to deal with the challenge right now. You don't want to go through that new door. You don't want to deal with the challenge. So I think that there's a problem that is coming. It's coming. Because it's a warning, either now or in the near future. I think that, you know, you will be dealing with it by January. 
And I feel like this January is very prominent for you. There's going to be a separation. Two of Cups reverse. That is a separation. There's an argument, uh, disharmony, disconnection, uh, incompatibility. We have, we have an argument that probably leads to a breakup probably down the road. There could even be some abuse here. It could be mental abuse. There's lies for sure with that justice reverse. Somebody's not acting with integrity. They're not telling the truth. But they're so good at manipulation that you may not see it. This is unaware. You may not see it. I feel like whoever you are dealing with enjoys the power and the control that they have over you. They think they ha that they have you wrapped right around their little finger. Oh my God, look at that. There, there it is, wrapped right around their little finger. I didn't even look at that when I said it. And then after I said it, I, it is. This person does think that they have you wrapped. They absolutely do. But you are going to hear something very, very soon. You are. And I feel like it's going to, and this is, it may turn you cold. It may turn you cold. It may cause you to get very, very, very upset. Knight of Swords reversed. May even make you explode. This is explosive energy. So, but I don't think you're in any hurry to move away from this person because there's some sort of deep attraction here. It's probably a karmic relationship. This is a deep attraction. This is karmic. Very sexy. Okay. It's it's somebody that, you know, you, and it's a lesson, obviously. It's a karmic lesson that you need to learn. So you are going to learn it. <laughs> um, yeah. This is part of your evolution. It is. It is absolutely part of your evolution. So, uh, get prepared as best you can. There's going to be a problem with somebody that you are partnered up with that loves the control they have over you. It's almost like either you're obsessed with them or they're obsessed with you. And things just, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's control. It's all about power and control. That's where the obsession comes from. It's about the control they have over you. You may be mesmerized by them or they're mesmerized by you. Anyhow, um, this is somebody that is, is uh, I think this person is flirting. They're flirting with disaster. Flirting with disaster. Good luck. 